Good afternoon. This is Bezia in Portland Media Center and Tom. We're going to talk about what we do here. Okay, sure. Well, um, the main reason we're here is for anybody in Portland, anybody maybe even in the greater Portland area, but mostly in Portland, to talk to the community. And the community could be the whole community, or it could be just some group in the community. Okay. Um, we have a television station. Okay. We have two television stations. We have Channel 2 on the charter cable system, which just goes to people in Portland. Okay. And then we have Channel 5 uh, on, the, on the charter system that just goes to people. It uh, goes to people in the greater Portland area, 16 towns. Oh, wow. So, so what, what people can do is they can come in here and make a video like you're making now. Right. And you actually are doing exactly what we want people to do. Okay. Is you want the greater community to know what we do here so they can use us. That's correct. And that's the kind of thing that we encourage people to do, to communicate with their neighbors, with their community, about what's going on for them in their community. And it doesn't have to be something like, uh, you know, just this video or anything like that. It could be um, about... Uh, Tradition, or oh, oh, culture change. I mean, if I say, example, uh, I, I moved from Philly to here like three months. Maybe there's somebody never been in Philadelphia, or maybe somebody never been in Washington, D.C. Right. Or maybe I came from Africa. Right. Or maybe I came from Middle East. Well, right now, you're doing a show called Africans United. That's correct. And you're explaining to people, both you're explaining to the general public what it's like to come from Africa and live to here. To be here. And you're also talking to people who come from Africa and saying, well, this is what other people are experiencing. So you're sharing your ideas with different segments of the community. Okay. And that's what the channel is for, is for people to talk to their community. But it could be sharing the arts. It could be sharing cooking. It could be sharing ideas. You could be talking about political things. You could have, we've had debates on here where people who are running for public office are oh. debate each other on different issues. And you can allow people to come up, or you could just have your candidate come up and speak about the issues that are important to them. You can do whatever you want if you're a Portland resident. But the other thing, too, is that you can learn how to use the equipment and make your own videos. And we also had a, a podcast studio, so people can make their own podcasts. And the cost is very low. All you have to do is pay for the classes to get started. And then after that, if you're a Portland resident, then you can come here and use the equipment free of charge to produce videos to share with the public on those two TV channels or even on YouTube. And soon we're going to have a Roku channel and an Apple TV channel for podcasts. We have Spotify and we also have pod, um, Apple Podcasts. Oh, that's good. And how to get to the cable? I never understand how if you say the program in the cable, did I have to rent a boxes or did I have to connect to the internet? Well, you can, you can actually watch us on the internet. Okay. Uh, our website, portlandmedia.org, has a, um, you can click at the top and where it says media. Okay. You go down, I think it's, it actually says archive, but when you get to that page, it says watch, and you can watch us live stream right on the internet. Oh, that's good to know. Or you, if you have cable, okay. charter cable, then you can get us on channel five, and if you're in Portland, you can get us on Channel 2. Two, that's good. So you're talking about freedom. I mean, if I say I'm coming from Africa in a different background, I don't understand what it means freedom. It's, it's, it's kind of, for me, it's a big word. But if I want to break it down, what, what do you try to say? Well, the, the thing I, I think a lot of people don't understand, it, whether they come from Africa or they were born here genera generation after generation, is that freedom of speech is really our birthright. It's our right as a citizen to speak our mind to the public and let people know what we think. Okay. Um, a, a lot of people, and, and we have more freedom here in this, in this station than you have on any other television station because other television stations are privately owned. They're privately owned, so whoever owns that TV station dictates what goes on that t TV station. Oh, wow. This is a public, this is public, it's open to the public. And in this particular instance here, um, for in Portland, this center is primarily for Portland residents to speak their mind because each other town has their own or has the ability All to have the, their the own, own station. station. However, we do have this regional station that goes to 16 towns. Okay. And because we have this regional station, that 
that isn't a free speech channel necessarily. Right. But it's it's operated by uh, us, the Portland Media Center, which is a nonprofit. Oh. And so what we do is if people come in, regardless of where they live, and they have an idea that I, they think we think is valuable to the general public, then they can do it. For example, somebody who's a recent immigrant from Africa okay. wanted to do a game show. He just wanted to do a game show. Okay. And that's what he's doing. He came in here, got the training, and he started his show just uh, last week. It aired for the first time, uh, a game show that he did. Uh, another person wanted to learn about, wanted to talk to people in the arts. Okay. And so they have a talk show where they bring in people who are different, involved in different parts of the arts. Um, it's, it's those kinds of things um, that it could, it could be about anything. It doesn't even have to have a certain subject to it. You can get on and do a show every month and do, do it on something different. Yeah, I like that because you look like uh, Portland Media Center, even people that are not connected to it, but it look like there's a lot of stuff to be done here. And even in the skill of uh, telling the story, uh, proving your English is speaking. I mean, when you say speak, you gotta be live and you speak and you'd be proud of yourself. Because I feel like I'm right, I'm right here speaking. When I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna see myself how I'm speaking. And I correct myself even if I'm wrong. That's good, that's good to know. Well, that, that's a really good point because I think when you watch some of the programs that people do, if you see the first show that they do and the 10th show that they do, even whether or not they're English speakers or not, even if they were native English speakers, their shows improve over time. So if you wanna get good at making video or being the host of a show or anything like that, being here is a good place to learn because it's not, it's not something like it has to be a certain amount of quality. We have staff here to help people learn and, and improve what they do. We often, sometimes, we'll, you know, not always during a pandemic, but sometimes we have courses here to you know, let people, um, teach people how to do their videos better. Oh, wow. But practice makes perfect. And that's what you have an opportunity to do here is not only to speak your mind and say what's on your mind, but learn video, learn podcasting, learn all the technical aspects. And in the future, more and more people are going to use video. People use video to, to, to uh, promote their causes, their okay. nonprofit, to promote their business. Okay. Because they go online and there you can see videos instantly. You can go on TikTok and see a short video. You can go on, uh, you know, you could post a short video to Instagram or put oh, it on, you, on Facebook or that's right. your, your uh, YouTube channel. There's so many uses of video in social media and in the way people communicate now that it's going to become more and more important for people to make good videos so okay. people will watch their videos. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm, I mean, I'm really more interested and make me to, to think about it wisely and uh, get the message out there, especially to the people who live in the city of Portland, Maine, or Augusta, or other part of uh, Maine. They have to connect it because this is, this is good. It's giving you something to think about it, and you'll be proud of yourself, and you bring it back to the community. Right. Because Portland Media Center, the purpose is to reach out to the community. And I like that because we have a lot of idea but we don't know how to go to it. Or we don't know how to reach out. So whatever you're watching this program, Bazia and, and Tom, we'll try to explain to make it easy for people who doesn't understand what it means Portland Media Center. And, and what you're saying too is about getting connected to the community. Yeah. Um, coming in here and taking classes, I see people get more connected to the community by being here. Okay. Because you come in, you take a class, and maybe you don't know anyone else in the class, but by the time you finish the class, okay. you know the other people. So people help each other, get to know each other here through the classes and get to know what's going on with other programs. Uh, we've had programs about a bike shop or learning how to bicycle. Okay. People start learning about that when they work on those shows. Oh, so wow. it, it's, it's, always, it's always, to me, this job is really great and it's interesting because I'm always learning new things about the community. You guys never think about who can be in the show and who can add somebody somewhere else? We never got, it's like we're talking right here and somebody can be in New Hampshire, be connected. It's like an, a network in a different way. You never guys think about that? Well, yes, and, and what we do sometimes, at least in Maine, okay. is that we sometimes share our programs with other places in Maine. Okay. Because if, you know, we travel, and oh, people might good. go up this coast, they might want to know what's going on right. up the coast in, in Damariscotto right. or, or, you know, out in, in, in Berwick, okay. you know? So, you know, it's not that far to travel to go to those places. Okay. So if we get programs from those stations, we'll put it on here. We get uh, out 
in Hollis, there's another station that shares programming a lot. And oh, we put okay. that on here. So we share a lot of st programs back and forth locally because, within Maine because people would likely use that. But also, we download programs. And this is another thing about watching our station. Okay. We, we download programs from other parts of the country even oh. because you can't see that same programming on Main Street Media. Oh. For example, there's a news program called Democracy Now! right now that okay. we hear. And it's, and it's live from New York. Wow! Every every uh, Monday through Friday at um, at eight o'clock in the morning, and then we rebroadcast it at noon and six. Now, right now, sometimes there's a little problem with our connection. Okay. We're getting high speed fi uh, fiber, in right? Fiber. So that we can download it more easily. Oh so wow! I know that if people are watching this, say, yeah, I try to watch the Mockery Symptom now, and there's little glitches here and there. Right. Um, that will change within the next couple of months because we are in the process of getting fiber okay. and having a faster download speed to Between download that. that live program. Right. But the thing is is that that information and that, that point of view is not corporately funded. Okay. Most media outlets are corporately funded and as I said before, this right. is a public uh, station. station. So anybody could put anything they want on right. and a lot of people want democracy now because it doesn't filter it. Right. The news through a corporate lens. Okay. So that's one advantage of it. The other advantage of it is you might wind up seeing anything on this station. That's good. And most of it comes from your neighbors. Right. So I've had so many people, I've, I've had a lot of people, and it surprised me because people really aren't watching TV that much anymore. Okay. They're watching stuff on the internet. But a lot of people like, if they have cable, like to put on our station right. and just see what's on. Just see yeah, what's check on. it out. You right. Know? Yeah. Because you, you never know. No, what you, what you can get through what you're watching. Because the change of, the, uh, of life is all about one second. That's what I call it. Right. Yeah, sometimes we don't, we, don't, we don't think it in the way it is. When I look at it, we are just in 2021. We're now in 2002. You'll be like, what? It's just like a jump to, to other. So I think social media, you can look at it in the way it is. I was just thinking about two weeks ago when people think about Facebook pay you money. But I say, they can't pay you money if you're not doing good. Right, right. <laughs> you got to have a square in, in, in that, just like a credit, where it is. But the way I look at the, 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 the Poland Media Center, there's a lot of immunity here, but I think we got to we'll do the best to reach out to more people, to bring what they, they know in, in the level of the music sometime. I can, yep. I can say, well, I'll bring a DJ to talk about what they do in, in the wedding tradition a wedding, how they, 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 they proceed all that. And I think the, the station welcomed those ideas. Yeah, and, and the thing that you, you sh I should also mention is that we got a grant okay. so that we can provide training and assistance to somebody creating a program without charging them anything, without charging them for classes or anything. Uh, if they're an immigrant within the last 10 years, Okay. Or if they're low income, and by low income we mean they're receiving some kind of assistance because of their income level. Okay. So we have a grant to do that. We have another grant to train 10 people in how to make short documentaries. And we're going to be starting that, um, well, we've already started it in, in terms of putting together the curriculum. We're working on that now. But we have the first few students, we're going to work with two or three students at a time okay. at the end of this month. So there's a lot of learning opportunities to how make media, and you were just saying about, you know, is it going to be good? You could put lots of stuff on media, That's but is why it going to be good? I'm here, and I'm trying to, to educate myself and educate the community in Poland, Maine. Because I know for me, I look at it, I'm coming from Philly to Poland. When I came here first time, everybody looked at me like, who is this guy? But today I became part of Maine. So that's why I feel like through the Poland Media Center, we can benefit a lot in a simple way, because shared information is very important. Oh, shared information is, is, is what makes the democracy. That's correct. So I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I'm, I'm willing to, to be in the next of this ground of this group, I can get some idea. Yeah, the, the thing is, is that um, the, what you've done already is, is kind of amazing. I mean, the last show that um, you, you've come up with this idea with, with Anne, 
who's hosting a lot of the shows for Africans United. Right. And we just had somebody on, uh, it's airing right now, right. somebody from Kenya right. who is a minister, yeah. but he ministers through his accounting business. Okay. So I think that's a really unique thing to do, but also it combines two things, the spirituality aspect of it, and also the, the assistance with accounting, especially tax accounting, right. where in this country, you know, people come from another country. It's hard to figure out taxes. Taxes and court yeah, and on how the process is. Right, yeah. let alone to know somebody who comes from uh, from Big abroad, ground. right? Right. Who can and help then, you and say, okay, this, I know it's strange, but this is how it works here. That's correct. And you can find out about that on this channel. Yeah, this is why for me, I'm trying to, to be involved in time to, to get me, because if I go back to African culture, they almost believe if the chief, he doesn't put time to something, why well, I have to put time? That's why I put time to be with you guys. That's the mentality of the background of African back home. I present my, my own people. If you look at this three color here, mm -hmm. those three color present the content of Africa. Even we have it in the back, right, I don't know yes, if you realize yeah. that. And we're all from Africa. But I know sometimes people don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but for me, I believe in that. Right. And the world is set in Africa, even the talent, the medication and all that. These are people was maybe 400 years ago. But it's still, I have to say thank you, I'm right now in Maine. What we can do to transit Portland Media Center for the millennia, for the senior, for the simple citizen life in Portland, Maine. Yeah, the, we're, we're always, we are always changing what we do. Okay. Because the technology changes. That's correct. And the, uh, and the way people receive their information changes. That's correct. So we used to be the community television network but people don't watch television that much no anymore. More, yeah. I mean, they do watch television, but they don't watch it as much as they used to, and they rely a lot more on other forms of media. So now we're making ourselves available, as I said, on other platforms such okay. as you know YouTube, Roku, Apple. But the, the the major thing is is that people can come together okay. here to make videos with each other, with their community. That's and, that's, and that's the key thing that even though we're the Portland Media Center now, we really are about sharing the community and bringing people together because whether you come from Africa or whether you come from Europe or where, or, or your family was here for generation after generation or okay. you're of, of a Native American descent, we are all a unique community right here, that's right correct. now, and, to, and, and that's dynamic. It's always changing. And so that's, the, that's what, what uh, community media, I mean, Portland Media Center so does, hot. is bring the community together right now in this snapshot of time. This is where we're at, and this is who is here. That's good. That's, that's good to know. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of show, and we'll be able to reach out. And even I have a magazine that's coming up, and I'm going to give you guys a chance to be in my magazine. I don't magazine? Want guys, yeah. What's the name of the magazine? Uh, Brad Fuchsia. Brad Fuchsia. Brad, Brad Fuchsia. Yeah. And I'm thinking to be out by June 6th. And it's, it's an online magazine? Or? It's going to be online. It's going to be a really magazine. You can hold it. If you see Bazia, even if you don't know English, you can ask somebody, like, why well, this guy is here? You know? And what's the, what's the, the idea? It's magazine? going to be all about business, people who does business in the United States, or all uh, the state of Maine, Dallas, Texas, different even I'm travel next month to Dallas, Texas to sell the idea. Wow, so it's going to be a national? National on the United States. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's coming out when? June 6th. June 6th, well, yeah. 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 yeah so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pushing for that. It's going to be a really magazine, like I said. It's going to be online to make sure the millennials see what we're doing and share the information between. But I'll give you guys a chance to be in this magazine. Oh, great. Because really, uh, I'm impressed since I've been working with you guys. And uh, I think somebody's telling us to be ready to, to wrap the okay. program, but I'm happy. Tom, thank and, uh, you very much.